Hi, my name is Vera Olive Ribbon and I will present uh, an article that is Pseudomonas strand as a source of medium change, lime polyhydroxyl alkanoid for control drug delivery perspective. So to start off, drug delivery system has have enormously increased their performance, become more specific from systemic to organ and cellular, cellular targeting. This lead drug the delivery method to continually delivery drug for prolonged time period and in control release by incorporating existing drug into new drug delivery systems such as polymer. Thus, by up using this approach, it can improve the efficacy and safety in drug performance. There are two promising synthetic polymer that have been studied and been developed for biomedical application. That is for polyvinyl polypyrrolidon and polyethylglycoarchylate-based hydrogel. However, the introduction of additional polymers such as BHA and PHB into medical application are being more focused on this article. So what is PHA? PHA, also known as a polyhydroxyl alkanoid, is a natural polymer which produces polyester by a wide range of microorganisms that is usually under unbalanced growth condition. PHA composed of beta hydroxy fatty acid where other R group change from methyl to tricidal. PHA by you polymer have divided into two groups due to the number of carbon atom in monomer units that is short chain length SCLPHA and medium chain length MCLPHA. The medical mechanical properties of PHA is depend on the side chain length of hydroxy alkanoid. So SCLPHA consists of three to five carbon while MCLPHA consists of 6 to 16 carbon. Medium change length PHA have low level of crystallinity and more elastic than short chain length PHA. Hence, medium change PHA are more desirable than the short chain PHA. Though many pseudomas belong to R RNA DNA homologous group 1 produce PHA polymer containing containing M medium length alkyl site change. Only a few wild type bacteria such as Pseudomus oliverans olive, olive and Pseudomus cytuseri were found to produce a mixture of PHB and MCLPHA. So the mechanism such as Cuperidus nectar and Rhodophyllus rubum and Pseudomus pseudophala are known to accumulate the copolyester compound of short chain length monomer unit, while the Pseudomus oliverans and Pseudomus pupita and other Pseudomus strain biosynthesis copolyesters consist of medium chain length monomer units. This table uh, shows the classes of PHA synthesis from various of microorganisms and their product polymer. So the, the figure one shows the pseudomonas strain uh, with the accumulated PHA under the microscopic view. And the figure two shows the structure of in two vivo PHA inclusion and it's associated with specific protein. So by manipulating the size, core composition, and surface functionality, it provides the production of functionalized, biocompatible, and biodegradable, which can be applied in drug delivery, diagnostic, protein immobilization, and etc. Thus, by altering the monomer composition, the polymer of physical properties of PHA can be regulated. The advantages of using natural polymer. So, biopolymers such, such as PHA and BHA are 
more preferred as a carrier matrix of drug where the drug can be released by bio erosion. So by modifying the body, biopolymer can be modified with the addition with adding the functional group to create the durability of the product. This can be done by cross-linking method. Biocompatibility, flexible drug release profile can be adjusted using cross-linking strategy too. The degradability of the bioproduct of the polymer and possibility of quick elimination by the excretory system can overcome the accumulation in the body. Hence, these biopolymers have been used to develop uh, many devices such as re repair device, repair patches, cardiovascular patches, wound dressing and, in and tissue engineering application. Through drug delivery system, degradable polymeric was being focused on, on as a drug carrier. The drug are incorporated in a polymer and applied to facilitate the targeted drug delivery. Parameters such nature of polymer matrix, matrix geometry, properties of the drug, initial drug load, and polymer drug interaction determine the release drug, the release rate drug. So the development of PHA as a polymer based drug delivery system is controlled the drug delivery technology which demand the functionalized polymer for efficient performance. So there is a various uh, strategy can be applied to make the functionalized polymer for the drug delivery. One of the strategy that being applied in biopolymer are in by improving the biopolymer for drug delivery. Biopolymer are formed outside of the body and incorporated with drugs before placement the polymer plus drug complex in the body. So strategies such as a method such as cross-linking strategy, UV polymerization and chemical cross-linking method can improve the polymer plus drug complex to deliver in the targeted site in the body. So for instance, cross-linking method is used when toxic region can be completed, completely removed prior to implant implantation as it can be difficult to achieve without leaching loaded drug out of the polymer. Next is the first functionalization of biodegradable polymer. The development of polymer to improve specific properties such as biocompatibility, degradability and drug delivery kinetics may develop some limitation. Surface modification of functional group by protein engineering can produce control density of hydroxyl group on the surface and may provide for covalent attachment of specific biomaterials such as protein or peptide. For example, modification of the biopolymer with various length of fluorocarbon ends group can improve the biodegradability product is amphiphilic PHA. Biocompatibility of biochem biomedical implantable material is to render the surface in a way that minimizes the hydrophobic interaction with the, with the surrounding tissue. So therefore, the amphiphilic polymer needs to be synthesized by introduct introduce, introducing hypo, hydrophilic group into PHA. PGE are example of hydrophilic group uh, which is a non polyether that is exceptional blood and tissue compatibility. PEG, when dissolved in water, it has a low interfacial free energy and can exhibit rapid change motion and its large exuded volume lead to steric repulsion of approaching molecules. So the author also stated that the PEG is used as a biomaterial in the very in variety of drug delivery vehicle. Next is pH. The release of drug is controlled fashion is possible by modifying the polymer cross-linking. Changing change in pH and addition of mineral ion can promote biopolymer associated through the alteration in electrostatistic interaction.
For example, calcium ions are used to cross-link ionic polysaccharide such as pectin. So this alternative method can be utilized to slow releasing salt device to initiate cross-linking for controlled release of drug. Conclusion, pH-based drug carrier hold tremendously promise in the area of medical therapy such is con such is in controlled delivery of drugs. So various of study of PHA demonstrate that PHA possess biodegradability and biocompatibility for drug carrier use. Besides, PHA seem to be most economically material used in medical field. These are the article that I use and the reference. So that's all from me. Thank you.